everyone, and welcome to Knit All the Things, the podcast episode three. I'm Linda. I'm a knitter. I'm, I'm a new beginner, newbie knitter in Sweden. Today we're in my other room where I have my cross stitch stuff as well, so you can have that as a background. It is the second of February, and time just flies. We have gotten some snow again, but it's not melting away pretty fast. So thank goodness for that. Yes, it's a month ago since you guys saw me and I'm like, what have I been doing since then? I'm knitting quite a lot, so it goes pretty fast. I'm a cross stitcher otherwise, and that takes a little bit longer <laughs> to finish. So I'm like, oh. Have I finished all these things? Well, it's not as many things, but you know, I'm still, I've finished more than one thing, which is amazing. Anyway, I was knitting a pair of socks, right? I was knitting these socks and these are finished. It's vanilla socks. I have learned they are called vanilla socks when they're just plain, uh, stockinette, stockinette stitches, uh, way too big. <laughs> I have lots of yarn left. It's like, um, yeah, um, merino nylon, I think, uh, cheap. It wasn't so expensive, it's self-striping yarn. It's pretty nice colors, but you know, the feet are way too long. However, I was going to learn to knit socks with the magic loop, which I have learned and I find it pretty easy. It's just the two first rows when I start here, which is a bit tricky, but absolutely doable. The other thing I, I was using uh, Nitty Natty's uh, sock, uh, knitting socks video tutorial. Um, so I didn't use any pattern or anything. I just followed what she said in her video. Um, but what the thing was, I have knitted socks like in my twenties on double pointed needles. <clears throat> and I don't remember, you know, the patterns I was doing that. However, in the sock pattern, Nitty Natty was, um, showing was the after thought heel, which was new to me. And um, this is how the heel turned out. You kind of put in, I put in two um, rows of a waist yarn and then I put a needle, you know, a knit, my knitting needle when I was finished with the sock, uh, pulled the needle through, cut off the the waist yarn and then I picked up um, what you call it stitches and I knitted the heel and made the afterthought heel and I don't know I, uh, I it's simple I think it was more simple I guess faster than the heel what is it called crazy sock ladies heel flap heel flaps um, and I don't like the shape of it at all. I'm not very fond of this, uh, sharp lines, like in the toes. I don't know. It's not, it's, I, I don't like it too much, but now I have tried and I didn't like in the sides here, there were quite big holes and Nitty Natty also mentioned that on her video that you get these big holes, you have to fixed that and I don't like that and I fixed it but yeah I don't think I will do the afterthought heel again uh, unless unless I have to I like the heels that uh, the crazy sock lady is having in her um, patterns so but you know I I haven't used them yet now I can use them when I've showed them. I have dogs, so I have dog hair everywhere. 
Um, so that's that. Um, and talking about socks. So I was thinking now I've tried vanilla socks with the afterthought heel. What can I do? I have some great Nora George jar yarn. Um, let's knit something with a little bit of texture. And I have my little project bag here with my yarn, which I hand uh, wind. And this is the Crazy Sock Ladies pattern. Um, you can find the pattern over at my Ravelry uh, page where you can follow my projects. So this is the sock. It's almost done. I'm doing it on the magic loop. Oh, this color is just so nice. And you know, you have the heel flap here. Very nice texture. I love it. And um, yeah, you purl and knit in a pattern and then it's just normal on the other side. So this I'm stitching for my daughter. So yeah, <clears throat> let me see if I can find some information about the yarn. So this was the Nora George yarn and it's super sock, 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon. And it's Mr. Weasley's Ford Anglia color. Very enjoyable. A whip yes and I knit on it a little bit every now and then it's a 10 uh, round repeat for the pattern so it's pretty easy you get you know the variation with normal stockinette and then you get uh, do you know pearls and knits pearls and stitches all these words so new um, so that's that Finish the socks and the other whips socks are my whips and what am I wearing oh my god yes I'm wearing my first finished Stephen West's shawl it's the Corvet Curvet shawl now I have my microphone on it so oh hang on It's not blocked yet. I have just finished it. And it's a yarn kit from Stephen and Pen Penelope in Amsterdam. And I went for the blue because I like the blue. And it was simple and relaxing and it's huge and it is so beautiful and so warm and soft. It's a little bit itching, but so nice so I need to um, yeah wash it a little bit and block it and then cut off the I have some some small ends I need to cut so let's see if I can put it back on it's really nice I want to stitch no I want to knit this again I love it I will just cut this out like so yeah, I want to knit this again in all the colors, you know, very simple and very nice and great, great uh, as a gift. Um, so a finish, I finished it just uh, like the first week in January. But the last time on um, the, the podcast, I showed you my first finished shawl from Expression Fiber Arts and it wasn't um, blocked then, it is now. And it turned out so nice when blocked. All the, all these yarn overs really came to show, oh, it's so nice. It's so nice. 
and it became like 30 centimeters longer. So I'm very happy with this, very happy. But I did have some trouble with this. When I was starting, well, I'm, as I said, I'm a newbie, so I don't know much, but I have learned that you soak it and then you block it. So it's going to dry, you know, with when you have, you know, pinned it down to your blocking mat. When I started, rin no, I just put it cold, pretty cold water, not ice cold, but, you know, pretty cold water. And it started bleeding a red color like crazy. And I rinsed and rinsed and rinsed and it was bleeding, it was bleeding, it was bleeding. And I was like, oh my God, I cannot take this out of water. This is going to, you know, make everything red everywhere in my house. I cannot put this on my block mat or I was so disappointed. I was really disappointed. And I was like, what am I going to do? I need help now because I had already put it in water. So I wrote a message on Instagram and using the hashtag, you know, knitting help, help me please. And two people were answering and they asked, have you put some vinegar in the water? I'm like, vinegar? Should I? I mean, no, <laughs> I haven't, but should I? And then Kylie, who I know from, you know, cross-stitching, she helped me so much. She Googled and showed me texts and everything. And, you know, I ran to the store, I got the vinegar, put the vinegar in and let it sit f for the next day. And the water was crystal clear. I was like, great, it worked. And then... I started rinsing it out and it started bleeding. Not as much, but it was still bleeding. I was like, why? <laughs> what am I doing wrong? So I sent Kylie a message saying, it's, you know, help. <laughs> what should I do? And she helped me some more. And she was like, it has to be hot water. I'm like, wool in hot water? Isn't it going to shrink? You know, you have always learned that never wash wool clothes in hot water. And I learned something new again. She was like, if it, it's the movement of the yarn in the hot water, it's the movement that makes the wool shrink. But if you just put it down in hot water and don't touch it, don't leave it, you know, just leave it alone. It won't shrink. I didn't know. I seriously didn't know that. So I did. I'll let it sit till the next day. And then I rinsed it. It was bleeding a little bit. And I just stopped rinsing it. I was like, that's fine. Let's just dry it in the towels. Put it on the mat. Pin it out. And it's done. And I'm never ever going to wash it again. And it doesn't smell like vinegar. So I'm, I'm very happy. Now I'm very happy. So that was a fully finished shawl. Now it's time for this one to, to be washed. I hope it's not going to bleed blue. I'm very curious. And then I'm going to pin it out. But it's so, so big. I hope my balcony is, is big enough. So... When I finished this one, I was like knitting like crazy and binding off the I cord on this thing. It was like a hundred, over thing, over five hundred, maybe six hundred stitches. I don't remember quite yet, but it took me two evenings. <laughs> I was like knit three, slip, knit three, slip, knit. Oh God! But I just had to start my shawlography, the mystery knit along from twenty twenty one. You all know it, of course. It's just me. I just, you know, found out about it. So I had to cast it on right away. And I have been knitting on it since then. 
I love the colors, but it's not my kind of colors. I just wanted something different, something crazy. And this oh, looks amazing in the viewfinder. Wow. This is the beginning. I have done quite a lot. There's not a lot of mistakes in it. There is a little bit. Ah, do I, I don't know if I fit in, in green. I don't know, but it's a mint green kit also from Steven and Penelope at West Knits. No, the store is called that. Yeah, <clears throat> and I have stitched, I have just four more rows on this amazing brioche. It's the first time in my life. It's the first time in so many things in this shawl. So many things. But the brioche has such a nice uh, softness to it and it looks so cool. I mean, it's going to look really, really cool when it's going to be blocked. These balls, I've never done this. I didn't like how, I don't know if I can get it to focus here in, they get these small loops. And I don't know if it's like my gauge or something. I didn't really like that, but they are kind of cute. I like the shrimps and I like this. At first I was like, yeah, it's going to be called the Hulk because it's so green. But when I pulled it up like that, my daughter and my older sister, they were like, it looks like a sun. So yeah, this is my sun over green hills, I think. But when the brioche is finished, I think I'm just going to do the crosses and then the like the what do you call it like the edge of it which which is striped i think that's all that's left all i know it's a lot of knitting but because i'm starting to you know get like i want to finish because i want to get to the next <laughs> the next shawl uh because steven just released his first hard cover book and there's 13 shawls in it and there's at least one of them which I really 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 want to cast on as fast as the books get here ah uh, they haven't sent mine yet so mm, I want it now and why I have put this, this is not a stitch marker but I found a piece of the yarn that was a little bit broken and I got so scared right in the brioche. I was like, I can't even, I can't even, you know, knit backwards and, you know, cut it off and, you know. So I just pulled it to the back and made a knot. So the, the broken thread is here and I hope that will be enough to secure it because I was thinking when I wash it, and block it later maybe you know the fibers will break even more so oh yeah it looks really beautiful i cannot wait for it to be finished and blocked and spring is coming soon and i will my husband he's a ph photographer i will ask him to make some nice pictures of the shawl out in the in the sun so that's my huge whip a lot of fun i'm winding yarn by hand i like that very much i really enjoy it uh, but sometimes i want the the cakes it, I, it feels like it's not uh, rolling around that much so i wanted to show you the colors i have I've shown you in my other um, podcast, but these are the the colors I have. They they look amazing, amazing. It's the Mominoki yarn, 
um, and it is the sock fine four ply yarn which is 75% merino superwash and 25% polyamide 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 and if you want to know which colors I'm using you can head over to my Ravelry page and you can follow my projects there and I write down information about the yarn and the colors and for the shawl I have pictures as I knit so this is curry the yellow yarn so that's like my finished pieces and my whips I try I have like a pair of socks I knit from time to time and sometimes you know at work when I have my lunch break if I'm not cross stitching and I have my shawl so I really try to you know finish that before I start something new so I have a little bit of haul I bought some books magazines which I have been very curious about and the book words that I haven't even looked in it yet I had been listening to Amy's podcast where they talk with the designers and the test knitters for who, who are participating in this book a lot of fun highly recommend Labia and Amy podcast and then I got the Lane magazine number 12 because there's a sweater in here which I really like and which I really want to knit Rue de Paris it is so beautiful and you can get it in the cropped version which I wanted because then I can have it on, on top of a dress this is the shorter version so that's really nice so that's why I got this one but I will probably get another issue or so to see if if it's something I like I don't want to just get them for the pattern because usually you can get you know just one pattern on Ravelry and that's more cheap than buying a whole book or magazine I also got the latest pom-pom rhythm and there were some cool things in here as well I can show you uh, everything because the patterns are in here can I show you this cardigan it's really nice not in that color but it's really nice and I had a feeling that um, since I'm not the thinnest person I like to find garments that are for a little you know bigger sized women and here is also something that's why I think I fell for pom-pom and -pom. Uh, the models are of a uh, more curvy ladies so I find that very very interesting and I really wanted to try a yarn club so I joined a yarn a yarn club a mini skein yarn club um, because I want to do a scrappy striped blanket so I and I like Nora George yarn and she's seen Europe but she's in UK so mm, we'll see how it, it will work um, but I I joined her Huffle Harry Potter Hufflepuff uh, mini skein club and I received the skeins today I haven't opened I haven't looked looked at them I don't know how they're gonna look and I wanted to do that now in the end before I stop this podcast for today so we have a package it's almost like Christmas my god I do not regret this look at this and they're so soft they're they're 
guys, a little bit more. Oh my God, I don't want to look. What? I don't want to miss this. I want them to be like this. Okay, the Gilderoy Lockhart Harry Potter Blanket Club, January 2021. I should have said, spoiler, spoiler, it's too late. Oh my God. So this is five mini skeins of 20 gram yarns. I, you know, I'm sorry. You might think, okay, what's wrong with you, Linda? Well, the thing is, I have watched so many advent calendars and people on YouTube showing their mini skeins. I've never ever had this in my whole life. I love it. Let's see what's else in here. I am joining. <sighs> I'm sorry. Joining the Harry Potter mini skein club with the 100 gram skein, where I don't know which color the 100 gram skein is and this is also the Gilderoy Lockhart yeah they're all going to be called that so I don't know look it's the Hufflepuff I'm dying right now I am seriously seriously dying wow I love it I mean if this doesn't make one happy. I don't know. I don't know. There was a little mistake. I don't know why this happened, but uh, Tracy, who is, I guess, the owner of Nora George, had a note saying that I wanted the changing season uh, DK uh, 20 gram mini skeins. And that is not my subscription but she has sent it it's some i don't know it's some miscommunication i don't know we're gonna figure it out but this is the this is definitely spring colors and this is dk weight 100 grams and do you know what i'm thinking west knits hat like a honeycomb hat I just need to get the, the main color, which could be not black, but you know, a gray or something. Very sweet, but I would not, I don't want DK. Not, I don't have anything to knit for DK, but uh, very nice. <laughs> this, I'm sorry, I'm like a kid on Christmas. Love it. Very pleased about this. I cannot wait to get February. Let's see. We have some cards here. Oh, there's a monthly raffle draw. I didn't know that. Okay. I don't have any luck, so I'm not going to win anything anyway. Left to right. We have the names, which is left to right. It's a big bundle. Hmm. Oh, maybe I can look at the... Um, I think there is... There might be a picture. Left to right. It's difficult when it's a bundle like this. But the names are here. It is Memory Charm, Wagga Wagga Werewolf, Magical Me, Saint Mungos, and Most Charming Smile. So all Gilroy Lockhart, of course. Gilroy Lockhart. Nora George Jarn. I knew Jarn. I don't know why I say Jarn. Yarn. Did really good. I knew I wasn't going to be disappointed because my sock yarn is also Nora George and I really love this. Anyway, you guys, I'm going to end this for today. Always when I have filmed and finished off, I'm like, oh, I forgot that. I forgot that. I hope I'm not forgetting too many things. But um, yeah, um, if you have joined my channel for my podcast about knitting, Hello and thank you for coming back if you're coming back. If you like cross stitching, I have a floss tube as well where I talk about uh, cross stitching, <laughs> which I'm not doing so much now because I'm knitting instead, but I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to do both. Um, 
so yeah and if you feel like supporting me and my channel there is a link to a ko-fi link or watch the ads uh, that helps so much you can find me over instagram you can find me on it Ravelry. I'm at fa Facebook too, but I'm not so active over there. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed what, what I've been talking about. <laughs> so until next time, have a wonderful day and well, have a wonderful time, of course, because I, it will probably be a month before we see each other again. Let's stop talking. Let's get back to knitting. Bye guys.